How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Bleak Faith Forsaken. So, not where we left off last time. I went back down here because this little uh, catacomby area, if you will. Uh, and the reason I did this is because I missed a piece of loot down here. Uh, was it? I'm trying to remember where it is now. No, it's back here. Uh, tucked away in a corner. This is basically what I'm talking about with the the loot being very sneaky in the game. Uh, where is it now? Right here. Look at this. Tucked right in that corner. I mean, it's just a rest, uh, restorative uh, fluid vial, but still. Um, so anyway this episode we're going to continue going through the monastery. was going to go and actually I'm going the wrong way. I was going to go and some of these areas are very uh, straightforward and others even the tutorial area here is uh, it's kind of expansive. Uh, other areas are pretty straightforward. But anyway, I was going to go jump for that item um, and if I miss, which I probably am going to, um, I, uh, would have to kill everything again, so we are gonna hold off on that for now. Now, if you remember, we did come down here last time. That's that boss that I said, uh, don't mess with right now. And I think he gives you a amulet or a ring or something. I forget exactly what, though. But uh, some of you may have saw that there was a path up here that we could have taken. Uh, so we're going to take this now. I think, I want to say this leads you up to the upper part of the monastery. However, I don't think we can fully get up there now because we need to unlock a shortcut. Uh, I could be... I could be wrong now. I, I uh, get my directions in this area kind of turned around here. I know there are some items and enemies up here though, so at the very least, it would be good to come up here. Like this little goody. Taking out another restoration vial, which is always welcomed. Okay, and we get the rusty claymore, restless helmet. Okay, so let's see. Can put that on. Now, in terms of uh, armor and how it's ranked. Um, you over on the right here you have um, damage values you have sharp uh, blunt and technomancy uh, so those are your defenses against those three damage types um, enemies and bosses um, respectively have uh, defenses against those three damage types and actually what's nice is too when you fight a boss um, the damage, the damage resistances that they have, uh, are listed on the, on the health bar, which is pretty nice. So let's see, this is definitely better than what we have. Plus, it's giving us um, 15 health, and this as well. So we'll put that on, and. Not for the technomancy, but it is for the other stuff. So um, it did make our encumbrance go up, but it is a little more fashionable. So uh, that is, and the, the rusty claymore. Let's take a look at that. Like I said, I may may dual wield here when we find another tire iron. So we have the saber, 
we did get the wood chopper. I think that's what I used for the boss. Might be mistaken. Um, but the rusty claymore doesn't have any abilities and stuff like that. But it is a uh, it is a cool move set. I think I'm just gonna rock the tire iron until I get another one. Do some dual wielding. As you can see, it does does restrict movement speed a bit. But definitely gives us more defenses here. So as far as the as far as the story goes in this world, uh, basically the world as we know it is far gone to this world. Um, there is something called the anomaly uh, that is at the the heart of the omni structure that has um, basically shaped the world as it is now. Shape the world as it is now and its inhabitants uh, to what the current state is. And our job as a Forsaken, as we are known, you know, not a human being, because human beings have been warped into Forsaken. Yeah, we're going up to the upper monastery here. Which is fine, we can backtrack. Once we get up there, we can warp back. There are a bunch of enemies here. So yeah, the the human race is basically warped into mutations and creatures now, like we see here. But our job as a Forsaken is to investigate the anomaly and try and bring balance back to the Omni structure and recalibrate the anomaly. So that is it as I have gathered it, pretty much. Anyone that knows the story better than me, which I'm sure is perhaps a lot of you, you see that red number there, it's a crit. I uh, could probably explain it a lot more, uh, a lot better, I should say. Okay, so we're getting lots of healing items and concoctions, so um, the Actually, what I should do is put, not that we're using any special abilities right now, but we should put the ionization fluids there. And uh, as far as the, and we can't craft any of those. Uh, looking at that concoction that we got. It increases your sharp armor rating by 2,000 for 90 seconds and does not stack with indestructible, which is another concoction. Someone's around the corner. To you, to you, Phyllis. Come on, bro. Okay. And did we level up? We did. Okay. So we're gonna go. Uh, just one and one, I think. Yeah. Um, we're gonna we're gonna bring up Constitution probably to ten, and then uh, it's basically what I have planned. It's basically the I've got a halberd. Uh, Move set isn't great on that. Uh, but basically, that's where our stats are going to be for what I have planned. For what we're going to be building towards. And... Where 
is the... Yeah, we continue going up. Okay. It's kind of why I didn't uh, go this way initially uh, last time because I had a feeling that it led up here, but it's fine. Okay, another one of those concoctions. So yeah, this, this game is just, I love it. Okay, and this, where does this lead down to? I believe where we, yeah leads to where we came up from. Okay, a couple different ways we can go here. We can grab this. And this lever opens this shortcut, so we can actually go that way uh, because that is the uh, the other side of what we have not gone to yet. Um, actually, there is an item up there that you can jump to. Just wanna. Do my due diligence over here. There is, a, I think, there's a shield over there in the middle. We'll get that in a second. But basically, for this, you want to. There we go. Ring of minor vitality. That will give us some more health. So that is good. So we got stamina and health, that is a good thing. Okay. So we'll continue getting going up and get the phylactery. Or not ha <laughs> thinking of death down. The homunculus. Yeah, I was I was very surprised at how much progress uh, has been made on the game in a year, year, year and a half. Um, it's really they have worked. You know, obviously there's still some jank, but I mean that's expected with only three people working on it. Okay, so those who want to do a Technomancer build, there is your starting equipment. Like I said, I want to try and do a build like that pretty soon. Maybe a New Game Plus. Certainly, certainly like to see how it works this game. Hello. don't think there's... I mean, you can jump up on these little cliff edges here. As you can see, you can mantle... you can mantle up onto... onto stuff. Certain things, anyway. Ah, uh, there is a goodie hidden down below here, I believe. Okay. Dude, two. Okay, 
so essentially this is the way up to the boss. We may not, there's a, still a fair amount here, uh, so we may not get to him in this episode, which is kind of sad, considering we're in, the, <laughs> we're in the tutorial area. Can't even get to the first boss yet. Okay. But as you can see, I mean, it is quite expansive here. Initially, that is what really impressed me about the game, and still does. Okay, another little goodie. Lots of health potions for the boss, so it's a good thing. And Humunculus is right here. And also... Can kick that down. This goes... where does this go? Trying to... Pull the, the world together for you. Okay, so this is actually where we haven't haven't gone yet, so we will go there in a second. I think there is another little goodie up here. Oh, you know what I should have done? Shown off the I can just warp up to the top, so it's kinda nice. Um, the little goodie I am thinking of is uh, where is it? I don't think it's over there. No. Um, no, there's a little goodie that you drop down to. Ah, yes, here we go. Okay. Very gently. Well, taking a boatload of fall damage. There we go. And you can easily mantle back up here. I suggest uh, when you're going through areas too is um, look like generally run run and look behind you because a lot of times you'll go through an area and there will be <laughs> there will be loot uh, hidden behind you. And I'm telling you that like nine times out of ten that's gonna happen. On bow, Sarkis hood. Yeah, I think the stalker set is actually even better. Uh, Tecromancer... Oh no. I mean, it's like a medium. I think it's like a medium set. Yeah. I think you have stamina, so it's, you know, if you, uh... If you want stamina over over health, so dealer's choice. I thought there was a uh, there was a kite shield over there. I might be thinking of something else. Might be another little spot. All right. 
So nothing over here. I guess I need a. Uh, they are so sneaky with loot, like. Gotta check all the corners. Thought there was something over here, I guess not. Hear a. or feel a enemy close by. Here's a little sneaky piece of loot. Oh, that's right, I got a, uh, got a bow, didn't I? Yeah, can put that on. There we go. Yeah, you just hold to uh, bring up your other weapon. All right. Um, as far as loot goes down here. Okay, so that's a that's a big staircase that leads down to the uh, to the boss. I said keep uh, keep your distance from. I think we can. Trying to think if I ran down that way. Me, let me just run in here first. This is actually the top of the staircase uh, where I said there's an NPC. And there's a sneaky piece of loot. So let's talk to him. Oh, you're not from around here. You don't look plague leader. I don't suppose you remember what floor this is. You don't talk much, do you? A mute friend. <laughs> Since we're friends now, I suggest you avoid the brute over there. I won't tell you about myself, but... I'm afraid I don't remember much. Part of a reconnaissance patrol. I don't remember much else. God Emperor, forgive me. Sometimes I close my eyes and by the time I open them, I'm somewhere else entirely. How I'm still alive must be a miracle in itself. Here, take this. It'll be of help along the way. I'm done for anyways. Good luck out there. Good luck out there. Okay. So, if you look down here, little sneaky piece of loot. Another concoction. And yet another sneaky piece of loot. And I believe should be able to drop here, up here, there. And I don't think I, come to think of it, I don't think I found a way to uh, grab that. I think I, I tried to get to it from here and I ended up dying. <laughs> I think. It's probably just a uh, concoction or something. I will, uh, I don't think I can make this either. Nope. And gonna die. 
I should have just went for the loot. That's okay. We will spawn at the homunculus on top of the monastery. Okay. So that should be a quick little run back down there. Oh. Did it again. There we go. Yeah, because these are some very long ladders in the game. So it's kind of nice that they have that, honestly. It's not a little cliff over here, but is there... Is there something over the side? No. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to uh, grab that piece of loot off recording and uh, just let you guys know what it is or just uh, put a note in the video. I already killed you, buddy. No interest in doing it again. Uh, so why we're here... Cut on the environment here. Uh, we can tr drop down here and somewhere. Yeah. Like there. I'm trying to think if we came this way. I don't think we did. So there is uh, as yeah, a dude here. And if I remember right, there's a piece of loot down here. Somewhere. Or not. We can, there's a jump over to that thing, there's an item up there from the starting location. So some of my pathing here is, uh, kind of makes sense. Okay, so there was nothing at least down that one direction. Don't think there's anything of consequence the other. Uh, but I do want to check. Just real quick. So I think this just goes down to the boss. This is how you would, you know, pretty much path back to, uh, that boss, once you're ready to take him on, you spawn up at the uh, the upper monastery and then just traverse down here. Couple baddies over here. Hunter set. Some armor sets uh, don't have all of the pieces either. Uh, some don't have a cuirass, or some don't have shoulders. Um, yeah, okay. So. Alright, so. Oh, I think somebody's following me. Somebody's upsetty upset spaghetti. Okay. 
to Let's run back up and kind of go where the path split from the starting location. Kind of show you what else we have in store. Let's check my weapons. I don't think... Oh, wait, I... Hang on. So I do have the iron pipe. So I can utilize that now. Yeah, there we go. Come. I don't know when I picked that up, but... Uh, and actually to look at the hunter set. Uh, what we're wearing is still better, it looks like. Plus there's no... Uh, there's no gems in it crystals, so I'm going to stick with this. So there is a path in here. As you can see, the dual wielding is pretty nice. Uh, there used to be an item up top on the staircase. I don't think that is the case anymore. Enemy over here, and I don't think... anything this way. That's where we just came from, so. I'm trying to think if there's... It's a long thing to run up, though. I'm trying to think if there was something at the top of this. I know there's not an item, but I know if there was a pathway. Let's check real quick. No items along there. Yeah, like I said, this <laughs> long staircase to be running up here. There is a section in the game that uh, is a lot of this. Okay, there is a way to go there. Uh, I guess since we came up here, it should go that way. Uh, item we want. Hello? Oh! Okay. We get some more fluids, much needed fluids. And where does this go? Ah, yes. Okay. Oh, I hear somebody. Hang on. Hello? I think they're down there. Okay, so you can scan the environment by using the, the thing on the up, the up, uh, on the D-pad holding triangle and doing up on the d-pad. Uh, there are um, secret logs and stuff like hidden uh, like that and that's the only way you can see some of those. So good luck. There's no achievement tied to that uh, but good luck uh, finding all that stuff. Okay so this goes back down. where yeah okay this goes back down 
Uh, so let's... Oh, we're doing on time here. Mm, should wrap up here. Uh, so in the next one, we will uh, kind of take the other routes here from the starting area. Um, we'll go back up there and take that other path over there as well. And I think uh, I think that syncs up with the, the path over on the left here anyway. So stay tuned for that. And we will probably end up at Conrad, the first boss, in the next one. So stay tuned for that. So hopefully you're all doing well. Take care.